All right, welcome back. So today we are going to show you how to do this. This is a relative term. Um, this cooking pot is not actually cooking at the moment. If I go to craft, you can see there's nothing going, but it's lit. And we're going to show you how to do that. I'm going to try to get it to work with the alchemy station so it looks like that pot is cooking some stew or something. And then one more item I'm going to try, or I'm going to show you because I know how to do this, is that. Show you how to make it look like the kiln is constantly going. But do you have anything in there or not? So we're going to head over here to the test facility. And uh, we're going to do a little testy test. All right, so now we are here, and I am on a darker side of it because we don't actually want the sun in this bothering us the whole time. So some of the things you're going to need. You're going to need a fireplace. If you want to do the alchemy station, again, I, we're going to test to see if I can get it to work. A kiln, if you choose to do that. Some kind of a wall torch. It doesn't have to be a wall torch. It could actually be a standing torch if you want to go down further. But I have a bunch of these, so... We're going to do that. It could be the basic uh, torch that you get right from the beginning. It's totally up to you. So what we don't want to see is we don't want to see that. Because just like that, it it's, it's boring. It doesn't do anything. It's not lit up. So instead, take out your hammer. If I can figure out how buttons work. Go up here and you take your little one and... We're going to place, we're going to take it out right there, should be all right. Now, how many of these you use is up to you. How bright you want it, how, how dim you want it, it's all totally up to you. So you want to get it down to where it's about like that. I think that'll work just fine. And then we're going to, if I can find it, there it is. We're going to place this directly over it like that. So now, 24-7, it's going to have a light fire under it. It actually would be a little better if I had two, had one side by side. So let's do that. There it is. So now we got two side by side. This is also how you can literally build your own fireplace. Like from scratch, your fireplace, it's yours, you built it. I didn't place that very well. You get the idea. Uh, I'll let you deal with the mechanisms of setting it in there right. Now, for this next one, the kiln, what I suggest you do is set this first because you want to see where you're placing it. So I'm going to actually set it in a wrong spot. I don't actually want it over here, but we'll put it right there. And this gives you the height. So you don't actually want this any higher than what this is. You want it just a touch lower. So like I could do it maybe right there. And you want to put another one right next to it, like, like dead on right next to it. Move that out. Pick this bad boy up. Of course, it didn't put it back in its spot. All right, so I got it facing me. Now we're going to come. We're going to clip it in the wall just a bit. Oh, that's too far. Right like that. Now, it looks like this kiln is lit 24 hours a day. It's a really cool feature, and I really like it. So now let's see if we can do the alchemy station. Now, I realize the alchemy station you can't actually cook with. I get it, but it looks cool, and it looks like you can cook with it, so that's why we're going to do it. And the way you go is about like that. You see that last bottle right there? That's about as far as you can go into before you clip to the other side of the wall. I am doing this for reference, so you can see we're on a line about centered. Okay, but we'll, we'll do this. We'll go ahead and do this for reference. So we'll put it right there, and now we get out our number one again. And you can see this is about the line for it. So I'm going to take 
I think this one should be a more subtle fire. Let's try just one on this one. Because I, th I think it looks like a, a just a, just a, you know, a simmering fire. Because we, we don't want the stew to go nuts. This one actually can come up higher. So maybe that. Nope, that's going to be too high. No way that's not too high. Let's try this again. Maybe, maybe right there. All right, so let's grab this bad boy. Take you back. And now we're gonna stick her back on the wall. But this time we're gonna go over that. So we're trying to center it roughly and we get it to where just the one bottle is sticking out. I like that. Right there and right there. And look at that. How cool is that? So you've got a an alchemy station, which looks like it's a uh, pot cooking the 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 stew for tonight. Fire lit permanently. Awesome. Oh, and another thing you can do: go back into one. You can do this with each one. So just hit Y, and it removes that little bit, so that it looks like it was never there. Now I can't do this over and over. Well, actually, I might still be able to. Let's find out. There you go. So now I got rid of the extra little pieces. And it looks like it was never there. And you've got fire. Permanent fire. Now you can do this to actually build a real fireplace. Like you can go and stack your blocks and all that. Set these in the ground. And have a real genuine quote unquote fireplace. That you have in there. That isn't a pre-made 3D asset. But that's what you do. It's really cool. It adds a bit of flair to your base, and I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.